Hi friends! Today I will be showing how to create your own game menu, just like I did for my story crew Lost. By the way, chapter 4 is out, check it out if you still haven't. In my menu I had an option to start the story right away, to see what happened before, to customize characters and to skip the current chapter in case I was made to replay it once again. So the first step will be choosing the background for your menu. It could be the cover of your story or practically anything else you would like to use. For this menu I will use a random episode background. Keep in mind that the size of your image should be 640 to 1136 pixels, just like a regular background. Now we need to choose buttons. I prefer to look for them on the website keyspng.com. I will leave a link down below. There are a lot to choose from. Let's pick this one. Open it in Photoshop, copy it using Ctrl plus C and paste it to the background using Ctrl plus V. Now we need to resize this button. We can do this by pressing Shift plus Ctrl plus T. Play with it until you are happy with the result. We need to make three more buttons by copying the original one. You already know what hotkeys can help you with that. Level them under each other. Next step is writing down the actions on our buttons. I'll be doing start as to start the story. Previously as to show what happened before. Customize to change characters once again and skip this episode in case anyone was forced to reread it. Our menu is ready. Now save it in JPEG format and load it in the art gallery as a background. As for the buttons, you can save them separately in PNG format or you can save just one and copy it in the script as much as you like. This way your overlay gallery won't be overloaded. I will show you later how you can do this. It's time to work our magic in the script. Add the minigame background and look carefully what I'd be doing next. I'm creating the buttons from the overlay silver button that we saved earlier. The common is overlay start, here it's the overlay we would like to create, create from silver button. Do the same with the rest of the buttons. Now we need to place the overlays we created so they will fit the buttons on the background. Let's make this menu interactive. Make your button stoppable by using the comment I'm writing down. Now we need to make these buttons do things they were created to do. 
For all of them, we will need to create labels. And in here, we will place the command that will lead us to these labels. We also need to create a label for the game menu to give your reader the choice to come back and choose other options. Let's change the order of these labels. It's not necessary, but it's what I usually do. Previously will be the first one. Here you should put some pieces from your previous episodes. In the end of this label we should put the comments go to game menu. Next one will be customize. Here you should add the customization template you use. At the end you also need to add a comment go to game menu. After customize it's best to put the start label. It's where your current episode will begin. And the last one will be skip. You need to put this label in the very end of your script, so when your reader taps the skip button, he goes right here. We did it! We created our own game menu. Also, I made a post on my Patreon page where I share this template and empty buttons in PNG format, so you can create a menu of your own. Thank you for your attention! See you in the next video tutorial!